the damn button is pushed. Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. We are recording. It says so right. You see the red light? I see it. Don't push it again. Where's the red light? Oh, I do see the red light. Oh. Now I can QA you. Yep. So, if you don't know, in our last video, somebody forgot to hit record, so we had to record again. <laughs> this time we're recording. So, welcome back. This is Keith, our not button pusher. I'm Dustin. I'm your bourbon guy. Uh, he's also some. He's got something to do with music, right? You're pretty good at that stuff. I You're kind of a, mu a musician. Oh no 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 no! Not a musician. No way. Kind of. No. Amateur musician? Oh, not even that. Am amateur amateur? You know how to strum a guitar? I can play. Mary had a little lamb on a ukulele. Y'all have seen him play. If you haven't, then well, go most check of them out the videos. Seen me play. You don't know. Yeah. All right, so we got another. I know how many views that video got? Would it have like three? Yeah. <laughs> well, three people three have seen me seen play portions play. of Crazy Train. Right. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty cool. Go check it out. Um, so we got another bourbon bribe. What the heck is that? This one. It almost looks like a wine bottle, right? This is from. <laughs> this is from Gary. Gary sent us. Gary sent us a bourbon that's hard to pronounce. Okay. Actually, it's a blended whiskey. It's not a bourbon. Pani... Paniolo? Paniolo? How would you say it? Paniolo? We'll go with Paniolo. Okay. With the spirit... The spirit of the Hawaiian cowboy. <laughs> oh. you hold on a second here. There's a... Wait, are there cowboys in Hawaii? I did not know that the cattle industry was big in Hawaii. Is that is it a thing? thing? Uh, not that I'm aware of, but maybe I thought they were. Is this a Hawaiian whiskey? I thought Hawaii had like more boars than anything. I would have thought they'd be fish based, but. Well, yes. It is an island. Smart ass. <laughs> this fucking guy. Um, what did you ask? It's actually bottled by. A place that I can't pronounce, Distilling Company in Maka Wow, Hawaii. We have a Hawaiian whiskey here. We literally from Hawaii. That's pretty cool. This, we this is a first. Never had this before. I wonder no. if it tastes like pineapple. I wonder what they use as a mash. Well, it probably couldn't be pineapple because then it'd be a brandy or a. Um, it w a brandy is a whiskey. That's actually technically true. Um, okay, well. I don't know what we're in for here. Well, I don't know what we're in for with our song. What is it? Um, so, right. what? Nothing. What was I right about? Nothing. What was I right about? Never. Oh. <laughs> what was I right about? Just talk about the song. Well, oh, good. I think this is our second Tanya Tucker. Yeah, that sounds right. And it's Lizzie and the Rain Man. I've definitely never heard this. Well, pretty sure I haven't either. I mean, well, I mean, Tanya Tucker was pretty darn prolific when I was a kid. So it is actually possible that I've heard this when I was little. There's a story here that we we'll get into. I, I damn sure don't remember. What was I right about? Nothing. Shut up. That's cool as shit. All right, we'll get into that when we get into the bourbon. I'll put it back there. I'm not playing the song until you tell me what I was right about. Just play the damn song. You came riding in on the sunrise on a hot West Texas day. A fancy man in a painted wagon with some fancy things to say. Looks like you folks need some water. Well, water is my game And for the small price of one hundred dollars I bet you I can make it rain So step back, non-believers For the rain will never come Someone stop that fire burning Somebody beat the drum He said, so many think I'm crazy I gotta hear that again 
Good They all just stood there staring, trying to believe. But there was one named Lazy Cooper who said he was a lying cheat. <laughs> She said you call yourself a rain man, well you ought to be ashamed. Starting all these people dreaming, thinking you can make it rain. Believers, hold the rain will never come. Someone keep that fire burning. Somebody beat the drum. He said, Some may think I'm crazy for making all these claims. But I swear before this day is over, you folks are gonna see some rain. Hey, Lizzie, well, a man's got to have a dream. And if you can't walk on the inside with me, I'll meet you in between. Oh, come with me, Lizzie. And the stars will write your name. And if you still think I'm lying to you, look yonder, there comes the rain. Step back, non believers, for the rain will never come. Someone keep that fire burning. Somebody beat the drum He said some may think I'm crazy For making all these claims But I swear before this day is over You folks are gonna see some rain Step back not believers Or the rain will never come Someone keep that fire burning Somebody beat that drum Man can she sing Mm-hmm uh-huh. I love how there are just instances where her she'd turn her voice real gravelly almost. Oh yeah, dog. She's got she's got all the tools in her toolbox, man. I mean, all the vocal tools. So what was like one that chorus was super catchy. Yeah. Two, it was, was missing it? a verse. It was almost gospel. It kind of had that vibe to it, but you also had like the uh, very common in the late '60s, early '70s, the violins played as violins not as fiddles in the background kind of um, almost big band like right a little, little touch of big band uh great harmonies in the chorus um her voice just absolutely outstanding but it was missing a verse so in the first verse this guy's out there and he's some shyster and i'm gonna sell i'm selling these people for a <coughs> hundred bucks I'll make it rain. Right. And oh, Lizzie's in the crowd somewhere and goes, "You're full of shit. It's gonna rain or it's not. You know, you're you have you're no a, control over it. You're a con man, mm-hmm. right?" Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> and he replies, "Come on in here with me, and I'll show you the stars, honey." Right. The missing part is whether or not she tells him to pound sand. It's implied. Is it? Yeah, it's implied. Uh, I don't know, man. It kind of left. Like, he was making a convincing case. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't convinced. Maybe maybe Lizzie wasn't either. I don't think she was. She's smarter than that. <laughs> probably. She's smarter than that. Probably. She probably is smarter than that. Tanya can sing, though. Holy shit, she can sing. Not really playlist for me. It's kind of... It's got. This a, is a mood tune for me. What mood? I, just nostalgic. Okay, when you're feeling feeling old or something. No, when I hear want to hear old old stuff. Okay, all right, yeah, I could see that. Like like it, I could see this playing alongside some Creedence Clearwater Revival. Fair. Right, definitely. Like, yeah, you know that kind of cool. vibe going on. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah. So, That'd be a good playlist. Yeah, not bad. With a sitting on your porch. If your windows with a freaking cigar, uh huh, and, and, and raining and, outside, mm, yep, that yes. would be great. Okay, I'm convinced. All right. So, 
Tastes more like a brandy than a bourbon. What the hell's in this shit? I don't know that it tells me that, but it does have a story on it. So y'all get to see us look like idiots. Oh, wait, that's why you're here. Um, in the 18th century, King Kamahamaha, probably butchered that, but the, I gave it my best. The first was gifted cattle by Captain George Vancouver of the British Royal Navy. Mexican vaqueros were brought to the Hawaiian Islands to control the cattle and break the pulpe. So wild legit, horses. legit Mexican Hawaiian cowboys. Yes. It's got a very international twist to it. These vaqueros embraced the Hawaiian traditions and became known as the Panillos, however you say that. Um, in the spirit of Hawaiian cowboy, the blended whiskey brings mainland history and island tradition together once again. And it was this this whiskey is aged. This whiskey is at least thirty six months old. I don't know what's in this. It doesn't tell us. It really doesn't. So it's almost got a bit of a brandy flavor profile. Um, but I'm not getting any specific fruit out of it that I could name as this is an orange brandy, this is a cherry pineapple. brandy, this is an apple or pineapple brandy. Don't know. It just kind of tastes like brandy. It's got that sweet... Uh, flavor to it but it does not taste like a grape brandy or you know a cognac mm -hmm. and it's 80 proof that is weird and i'm just probably playing tricks on my brain i did get towards the finish a little bit of pineapple i'm not getting it i get oak it's like it's like between the tip of my tongue and the roof of my mouth in the back, there's like this little bit of pineapple that, I, it's like a bitter, almost bitter pineapple, like, um, you know if you don't cut it just right, you get that bitter? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll tell you guys, what I'm getting is basically a sweet whiskey with not a lot of complexity. Yeah. I think they, they proofed it down too much. They killed yeah, some of the complexity. This would probably be a little easier to figure out at a higher proof, too. Mm -hmm. It's 80 proof and it tastes 80 proof. It's it's smooth, but it's smooth because the alcohol content's pretty low. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Are you trying to look up a mash bill on this stuff? I'm trying to get a little bit more information for us. I can tell you, um, what would you pay for it? So it's actually kind of good um, if you're in the mood for a sweet whiskey. What? How's the mic drop? Pineapple? I'm good. I'll, I'll get there. So, some of the world's best whiskeys are blended with unique upcountry Maui ingredients, such as freshly harvested pineapple. The pineapple is distilled to to neutral to allow for an extremely clean and smooth finish with balanced aromas, flavors of caramel, brown sugar, and sweet corn. So it's effectively a pineapple brandy. That's what I got. So I'm not tasting the pineapple. I'm tasting oak. Now. I'm tasting oak. And sweetness. So when I think of pineapple, there's a lot of sour associated with it to me. They they mellowed it. They have apparently removed all the, the sour. I literally get it, your sour and sweet is pineapple, right? Mm -hmm. I get a bitter pineapple, which is weird. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty I good. I like it. I'd buy it. I'd pay forty to fifty bucks for it. Damn, you're good. You can mic drop now. Right, <laughs> forty five bucks. It's priced correctly. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. And thanks, Gary. Gary? For thank introducing you. us to something I had no idea existed. Yeah. That's cool. That's why we like you guys. You do this to us. We had no idea. We, we can't find this around here. 
No, absolutely not. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this on the shelves. Yeah. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, and thank you for the Tanya Tucker, by the way. I greatly enjoyed that song. I really did. Um, so, But if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and give us a like. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what North American whiskeys we need to check out and what songs we need to check out. I flipped, flipped it on you. That's bullshit. <laughs> if I'm you pointing to my ear because I'm going to pour whiskey into it. If you feel like it, uh, go ahead and send us a bottle as a bribe. Make sure you put a note in there. Tell us what song goes with it. This has been a problem for us from time to time. We have to search through comments and occasionally like pull invoices and find emails and reach out to people. To, Which we're to okay with out. doing, but it makes it a lot easier if you've got to drop that note in there. Yeah. So, hey, um, till next time, guys. See you.